Deputies tell us the man chased down the Uber driver, sped around him and slammed on his brakes. At this point, the Uber driver gets out of the car and everything is caught on his dash cam. Video from the dramatic Uber ride shows Jason Bowick fly around the car, slam on the brakes and get out. I say something. You know, I've got a pistol. You want me to shoot you? He's holding a cell phone in his right hand coming up from his waist. The Uber driver, Robert Westlake, who just finished police academy, fired a shot and then tried to save Bowick, but he was gone. That's how fast it happens. That's how quick you've got to decide whether you want to live or die as the victim. I'm sick. I'm sick. I love Jason was a good person. He was such a good person and he was just having a really hard time in his life. His girlfriend tells us they had been fighting. Bowick thought he saw her leave the New Grove Lounge in Dundee and get in that Uber. Text messages show he told his girlfriend he was going to beat up the driver. I don't blame the Uber driver. I mean, if anybody was in that situation, they would have done the same thing to protect themselves and their passengers. So and it turns out she him. wasn't even in the car. The woman who was is distraught, caught in the middle of something so horrific. I was just overwhelmed. It was scary. Well, I never saw anybody die before, so. That was scary. The sheriff says this is a classic stand your ground case and the Uber driver will not be charged. As for Boick, we are told he did not have a gun on him. Deputies only found a cell phone and drug paraphernalia in Polk County. Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.